What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this animated doodle effect in PowerPoint. To begin, import your image in PowerPoint. Make sure you use a high quality image, otherwise the animation won't come out well. Before we insert any shapes, open the selection pane. We'll need this to keep track of all objects we'll add soon. Insert a circle. This circle will be the base of our doodle animation later. You may change its color to your liking, but for this tutorial, we will keep it simple. Don't forget to change its name too. For the exciting part, we'll now add animations. While the circle is selected, add a fade animation. Don't forget to open the animation pane to keep track of all effects we will add later. Select the circle again to add another animation and choose the custom path. The custom path will trace a track around the main subject. You don't have to trace it perfectly but just make sure to keep an even space between the path and the subject like what I'm doing. When you're done, press the escape key to end the track. Change its duration to 4 seconds and slightly increase the smooth end like this. We will then add an ending animation. Choose fade and let it play at the end of the path animation. We've now finished the base for the doodle effect. And now, the next step is to duplicate the circle 20 to 30 times. The more copies you make, the smoother the animation will go. Press Ctrl A to select all circles, but deselect the image by pressing Ctrl. Then realign these shapes into a single axis and drag this back to its intended position. Then, patiently apply small animation delays in each duplicated circle like 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and so forth. The least amount of delay, the smoother the animation will go. Just exclude the ending animations. There you go! That's it for the doodle animation itself. To spruce up the animation, we'll also add the sparkle effect. Go to the Insert tab, choose the straight line, and begin to draw a single line on the side. Change its length, direction, and properties to your liking, but make sure it complements the doodle animation. While the line is selected, add a wipe animation and set it to with previous. Add some delay to that so it wouldn't play at the same time. Make sure to also set the direction in contrast to the subject. In this case, since we've put the line on the left side, we're going to set the direction to the left. Afterward, apply another wipe animation. Make it start with the previous animation and also add a bit of delay. Change its default direction as well. Let's duplicate this animated line multiple times until the left side of the subject has enough sparks. Don't forget to change the timing of these duplicates. When you are satisfied with the left side, duplicate another line and put it on the other side. Do the same steps we did earlier but change the direction towards the opposite side. Continue to apply a sequential delay in each line as well.
Here's a preview of what we've done so far. At this point, our animation is already looking good, but we could still elevate this more. Select the image and add a grow animation. Make it start with previews, decrease its duration to 0.25 milliseconds, and add a bit of delay. Change how much the image will grow in size to around 105%. Lastly, add another shrink animation. Assign similar values to it but drastically increase the delay so that it will play at the near end part of the doodle animation. Also, change how much the image will shrink to around 96%. And we're done! You can play whatever you want with this technique and go crazy with your designs and animations. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And hey, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time!